welcome to this uh, 2018 Regional Championships for Imperial Assault here at For the Win Games in Toronto. Uh, this is Travis from VTTV, and I'm joined by VJ. Hi, guys. VJ here, uh, otherwise known as Never Bet the Fet. Thanks to uh, VTTV for helping us out here and covering this. This is awesome for you to be here at For the Win Cafe in Toronto. This is round two of the Swiss rounds. So we have right now um, John C., and he's playing his uh, double regular jet, double elite jet, two officers, Zillow and Vader. And we have him playing against Ivan. <clears throat> Ivan is playing a, the Elite Alliance Rangers, Elite Echo Base Trooper, Ahsoka, Chopper, Gideon, 3PO, and two Alliance Smugglers. So the map that uh, round two is being played on is the Moss Isley Back Alleys, and it's um, uh, scenario B. Essentially what the players have to do is those crates, the gray crates that are, you can see there's two in the middle, and there's uh, three kind of on the outskirts. There's one hidden behind the door on the left. They have to interact with that crate in order to pick it up. And if they do, they can bring it to the circular objective token and just be <coughs> adjacent to it, and it just drops it off. So it doesn't have to be another interaction, they just drop it off. If they do that, they're going to score four points for that. Is there movement affected at all when they're carrying the crate? Or? Uh, no, not okay. at all. So it's literally just an interact, and they pick up the crate, and then they carry the crate. And they can only carry one, um, one at a time. And um, so that, again, that's going to be scored immediately once you, you put the crate at the objective point, or whatever you want to call that, I guess, a little swirly logo thing. Yeah. And um, the other thing that's going to happen is at the end of round, uh, in order of reverse initiative, each player is going to remove a door. Now, they can, if they want to, just interact with the door during the game to just open the door. Right. But uh, So this makes for interesting gaming, especially with... Um, players that have abilities that are line of sight. For example, we see on the board Darth Vader. <clears throat> At the end of round, Darth Vader can perform a, an attack. He can actually move two and then perform an attack, or he can move two if he, or, or not um, and perform a force choke, and that would give a player two damage and a strain. Now, the force choke just has to be in line of sight, so he could be way across the map. Um, so if he manages to get a nice line of sight on one of uh, Ivan's figures, he's going to give him some damage at the end of round. Now the thing is, that end of round ability for the character happens after the mission end of round, which means that the door could essentially open, and Vader might actually then have line of sight. So right. it, it makes this tricky, and I'm wondering if Ivan will remember that. We'll see. I get caught with it a lot. Uh, Han Solo also has an ability where... Uh, at end of round, he gets to form, form an attack. So often guys do, will park him at the door. The door opens as the end of round effect, and then uh, Han Solo shoots. So this will be interesting today. Uh, jets, I find, are they're pretty good. They're tanky. Yeah. Um, they're I just want to say hello to Viperhook, from, who's uh, on the chat from Montreal. Uh, we actually have three players up oh, from yeah. Montreal today. That's right. Yeah. Uh, not on stream, but hopefully on stream a little later today. Yeah, I think so. I think uh, actually, oh, I think all three guys from Montreal won their game. Yeah, Stefan won. He beat Dave in the first round. Uh, Pierre Yves beat Liz, and uh, Carl beat Mitch. So they're all one and zero right now. Right. So we'll hopefully we'll see them in, in a later round. So and and, and John, I, I know, is the uh, 2016 Imperial Assault Canadian champion. I think he was dethroned last year. That's right. He was. He, uh, he won Destiny, but he did not win Imperial Assault. Yeah, yeah. He was kind of like he was kind of our meta definer for a while. So it was like, oh, John C's bringing a list. Uh oh, but it's going to be something that's going to be pretty deadly. And so he did that for a while. He he won the nationals. He he, he dominated the scene, and then he started getting more into Destiny. <clears throat> and uh, he did. I don't recall if he, where he finished at nationals, but he definitely did not make the top eight uh, this past year. Uh, but he did win, like you said. Destiny Nationals. So yeah. now he's got to he's got to decide. He was, I was talking to him before this game because he had a bye, and you know he admitted it's tough because you know he's the national champ for Destiny. He still really loves Imperial Salt. He's not sure, so he figures the logic would be go for the game you're the champion and defend the title, right? So, um, but yeah, I guess you got to make decisions, especially in Star Wars gaming. I was just talking about this with your partner earlier that Vic, that uh, you have to make a decision almost. It's like it's too hard to play all these games. Although we have a ton of guys in our community that play three, four different Star Wars games. I don't know how they do it. Well, yeah, and in, in, in another month or so, they'll be adding a, another game to their repertoire, I'm, assu yeah. I'm assuming, yeah. with uh, the release of Legion. With the Legion, and I, we'll see how that goes. I mean, a lot of people are excited about it. 
I'm not sure how it will be as a competitive game, but it's definitely another Star Wars option. So um, it looks kind of cool, really. Yeah. Um, more figures to paint and put together, yeah. I guess. But yes. So it looks like John's moving oh. up some jets here. And uh, it's interesting. I mean, he's. I think he's got the. Oh, so he's got the officer to move the jet two spaces, and he's moving the officer to the terminal. <coughs> Which is a kind of a bit of a gutsy move because uh, Ivan's got Chopper in his list, and Chopper can move up to a terminal, and his action could be to give uh, two damage and a strain. So. John is obviously not that concerned. He's going to take the two damage and probably blow a card. And so it's just interesting. Because I'm, I'm one of those guys that when I play against Chopper, and here he goes right now, when I play with Chopper, I'm too scared to go to a terminal. So he just moved Chopper to the terminal and gave John two damage and a strain. John burns what looks like Brace for Impact, which is... All right, thanks to you for confir confirming that we do have audio. It would have felt a little ridiculous having VJ talk for five minutes without yeah, you any of it that. coming through. Yeah. So he did, um, he did uh, ch use Chopper to give him two damage and one strain, and this, the card he put up was Brace for Impact, which is sometimes a really good defensive card, especially when you got Vader, who can reroll uh, his defense dice. So you basically add in a black defense die to your pool. And so that's, that's you know, it's a tough pill to swallow, but... People, who, the top players always say that when you strain and you, you burn a card for the strain, you just have to pretend that that was the card that was on the bottom of your pile. You would never have seen it. So so he moves the one of the regular jets up to open a door. And I presume he's going to just probably just stay out of line of sight. So he is. And the other jet's going to go and grab the crate. So nice move. He's going to stay probably out of line of sight there. So it's a very well calculated move by John. And that the one jet has the crate, he's going to be able to reach that next turn. Um, it's tough to know. It depends on what Ivan does. It is, it is very possible for Ivan to get a shot on that guy. It's just it's very difficult because at the right side of the screen, you'll see there's that corner, and it's he's pretty well protected. Uh, but as I said, in saying that, I know I've been able to open that door, move a guy up enough spaces to actually take right. a shot at someone on that corner. But it's a good uh, first move for John. I, I'm pretty sure when I've played this map, you pretty much every time have to go for that crate that's on your side. Sometimes it's unfortunate because you're taking one of your good figures out. John has a very smart list. He's got two sets of regular jets that are just going to be, you know, your grabber guys probably, just bums. So they're just going to go and get the VPs for you. While your elite jets are going to be your meat and potatoes. They're going to go in and uh, do the, you know, the, the special damage. So... It's interesting here to see how Ivan responds to that. Looks like he's taking some time to think about it. But he's got <clears throat> three people on the terminal, which is good, because not only is he going to hold that terminal for you to get the card for the round, he's also going to be able to move up a, pun a ton of his uh, figures and have three people uh, act as a defense, because you can add a, um, an evade, like a uh, surge cancel. All right, okay. So he moved up the Echo to open up that door. I, I always hesitate. I mean, he's, he's probably thinking it's not like John's list has range, so he doesn't have a lot of long shots. Uh, the jets are great up close. They're not great from far away. And, of course, as you know, Vader, I mean, don't underestimate, he's a melee character, but, man, he can get in fast, and he's hard to take down. So if he's alive and he's near you, he's going to be hurting people. Um, but um, he... He opened up the door, and I always hesitate because I always think like opening that door it really opens you up to long shots. But again, going back, saying he's probably thinking Ivan's thinking, well, John doesn't have a lot of long shooters, so I'm just going to go for it. The other thing he's doing is moving up the echoes, which to me is a great move because they're kind of they're good up close. They remind me of like the Jets in a way, in that you've got to kind of bring them in your face. Um, they can they roll a green and a blue die, but if they're within three spaces, they can roll a red die instead of that blue. So you can probably have a better chance of putting through damage. Um, it's interesting here, <clears throat> he just brought the Echo to the door. Uh, he didn't open the door. We'll see if that pays off for him. Again, I'm not a big fan of actually opening the door in this, in this map, but we'll see if it pays off. So John's now going with his second set of regular jets. It looks like he's going to try to grab another crate. Again, smart move. These are his... You know, grabber guys, as uh, I learned from an American player named Jake Peterson. And so it's smart to have some grabbers in your group, although people could argue in a group, in a 
list like this, your officers should be more your grabbers because they're two points and you know they'll help you at the beginning of the game to move your characters like Vader along and then after it's kind of you got to figure out what to do with them. Sometimes you can pull leader cards, sometimes you don't. Uh, second jet, he's trying to figure out what to do here. He's probably trying to decide whether he comes in to just get a better vantage point to move up to get another crate the next round to maybe steal another crate from around a corner. That's what I think he's trying to decide here. Because otherwise, this guy, he's not going to do much for you way out of position. He's, he, he really does want to use these to grab things. I think he's just going to move in there. He's thinking about it, but come on, John. You know you want to. You know you want to. Do it. Do it. So you need uh, the Emperor here to like make him do it. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Emperor, you see a lot of um, a lot of lists like this that ha but have Emperor instead of the two Jets. The two regular jets. Oh, really? Yeah, because he's eight points and they're both four each. Okay. And he's good, but John and I discussed it earlier. Like, the problem with Emperor. Oh, I looks like I'm getting a call. Yeah. Right yeah. BJ, I'll be right back. BJ is also uh, judging the event, so he'll occasionally get called in to make a ruling. Um, this will be an opportunity to, for me to admit that I'm not an Imperial Assault player, so my expertise when it comes to the game is pretty minimal. It comes mostly from uh, running the stream a few times. So we'll be relying so, on VJ a lot for yeah, uh, explanation of what's going mind. on. I like running around. So that's fun. What happened was the question was, can you interact to open the doors? Because it, it only says to you, hey, end of round, you can open the doors. But no, you can actually interact like we've seen in our game already. Both guys have done that already. Yeah. I've been making a cool move here. He runs up the smuggler, getting prepped for the next round to grab that crate. Um, smuggler's got an interesting ability. When he grabs, uh, makes an interact, yeah. um, he, he, gets, he gets to gain two movement points. So Ivan is aware of that, thinking once he makes that interact, he can now march. Looks like almost the, almost could make it all the way just on one action alone, but it's a smuggler. He won't care. The fact is, I find what's interesting about this game is if you get a two-point character to pick up even two points in the game, I feel like you're then in bonus mode. It's paying off. You, similar to four-point character. Like you have a four-point character like Greedo. If he picks up a four-point uh, objective, then, you know, again, more than paid off. Now, in this situation, this smuggler is going to score him four points. So that's twice the value. So really good move here by Ivan. Uh, I play against Ivan quite a bit, and his smugglers are just so annoying because they roll a white die, and they're only three health, and two points, so you can almost have to waste your attacks on them, and they might even dodge it. So I try to ignore them, but in a map like this, you really don't want to do that because they're going to score easy points, and you're going to feel like, man, it's you're going to be outplayed. So uh, John still has his two elite jets to go and Vader to go. Um, it's very smart because I find that um, going, making Vader go last is amazing because it's so unpredictable. You have no idea what he can do. Um, even if he doesn't, he can't come in and actually hit you for an attack. He can uh, he can force choke you from far away. You can just walk in four spaces and then say, you know, what, I'm gonna end my round here, or I'm gonna force choke you now, and then at end of round I'm gonna force choke you again. So a good ability. So Ivan ran Ahsoka in to go get a crate. Um, Ahsoka gain, can gain two movement points at the beginning of her activation, but she can also force jump. I can't remember what her ability is called, but she can basically move. Um, a number of spaces like she's almost mobile so he takes advantage of that fact runs Ahsoka over to pick up a crate um, now the only question I have about this is and I question it when I use bigger characters like that she's an eight point figure she's gonna have to now be tied to bringing that crate back to that um, objective zone she's also a melee character so you're, he's basically committed Ahsoka to bringing that crate back yeah she's gonna score four points but she costs eight and she's a lot of meat and potatoes in your list. So I'm not sure I agree with that move there, but again, I've played against this guy enough to know he's got some crazy yeah. tricks up his sleeve. Well, I mean, it's entirely possible that he's moved her up, but he's not gonna commit her to moving the trade. It's just, yep. he's just positioning Absolutely. her for future rounds. Absolutely, he could just pick, it could be a bluff. And that's yeah. the kind of thing he would do. It could just be a bluff. He could just like, you know, I'm just gonna move her up. And she might take some aggro, take some shots away, and then he runs her away. And at this point, he, could, he has that option to say, well, I know I'm running her away anyway, so yeah, go ahead and shoot her. Mm -hmm. uh, not very likely he's going to kill Ahsoka at all in, in this, because he's, first of all, he doesn't have the range units. Um, he could force choke with Vader. He could maybe, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. He can't even reach her, I don't, it doesn't look like. Six, eight. No, he can't reach her unless he has 
He could have Force Rush, which gives you two movement points. He could have Urgency, which gives you two movement points. He could, I believe, make it with Fleet Footed. Looks like he's only one short. So he, there is a good chance Vader could get up there, but um, he's only going to, he's not going to be able to do anything. He's basically going to move. He's not going to attack. Uh, but I, if I were John, I would just end the round, pop my head out. I would Force uh, Choke. And um, then end of round, I would do the same thing. So he could still do potentially six damage to Ahsoka, at least four damage to Strain. Interesting move here. He moved up the Elite Jet. I mean, he's got a good cover position. I think John's just trying to like maybe spread things out, but which is interesting because he's usually the kind of guy that likes to keep stuff really mm -hmm. together. Um, but it looking looking like he's spreading out his forces here, maybe bringing some power to different sides of the board. So he's deciding what to do with the second elite chat here. But this is the thing, just for any newer players out there, or even players that have um, been playing a long time, it's all about getting your guys in a nice hiding spot if you can. And they're not perfect, but as long as you can get in a spot where you believe it's gonna, you make it challenge challenging for your opponent to have to poke out and get you or. Right. Um, John's doing that great right now. He's got some great, great uh, spots where he can hide. So again, he's trying to decide with the second figure. If I were going to probably just move him up, maybe near the officer, and concentrate your your guys in there, because um, I don't think he's going to be able to get a shot on Ahsoka here, or at least a, a reasonably good shot. Sure. Um, well, he was talking about flying up uh, all the way in front of that door, but it's not sure. Interesting. Yeah, see, I would move him there. I would put him up with your forces that are already kind of there and concentrate them. Yeah, or, or not. <laughs> Apparently, he's going to leave them. I mean, that's a good spot. I mean, I don't think any... Uh, I don't think anyone on an Ivan's squad could hit him where he is right now because no one can reach past the, um, the red box that's in the middle above the crate. So, trying to figure out what he's trying to figure out, what he's trying to do at this point. I mean, he might have a good card in his hand. Oh wow, that's his bowl. This to me Ooh. makes me think he's got a good card in his hand. I know John. There's no way, no way he's bringing this guy in without having. So he might have one or two things. In my, in, I'm guessing right now. He's either going to have call the vanguard, which means he can perform a move and then attack, and that's at the beginning of the round, um, or. He's got Grenadier, and all he wants to do is get close enough to drop a bomb on that big squad of, uh, of rebels. And so I'm going to gamble and say he's got Grenadier. And at this point, he's just hoping he's going to open that door at the end of round. He's going to pop his head in, throw the grenade down, and have fun with the rest. So he's using Gideon here to move Ahsoka out of line of sight. Smart move. Right. And uh, focusing up another ranger. Those rangers in this map are really good. There's a lot of really long uh, lines of sight. Although this map only goes, let's see, well, about six, 17 or so long, they can they can hit 17, so it's interesting. Um, but reliably, you're talking, it sounds crazy, but they can hit reliably 13, 14 away. Yeah, that's nuts. That's nuts. So so John here, again, is looks like he's trying to maybe again keep his forces somewhat together. Okay, so we got a uh, question about how many people. So we had 14 play. Uh, round one, there was two buys from Winning Store Championships. The, the arch type numbers, if you want to call it, uh, we had, I believe it was four Rebel, four Mercenary, and six uh, Imperial. Although that's a good seven. That's good spread. It's a really good spread, and I think the game's in a healthy position right now. Uh, you can basically play any faction you want, this has got to play good. And, um, but you do, it's pretty obvious, although not necessarily everyone has this today, but it's very, um, pretty obvious you gotta have one big gun. You gotta have like a Vader if you're Imperial. You gotta have a Han, maybe Chewie. I like Chewie uh, if you're Rebel. Uh, here, uh, Ivan's got eight point Ahsoka, so that's not a bad idea. Uh, and, or you can use Imperials, you can lean on IG-88. So if you have one of those, if you're a newer player, I say, you know, build around that. Uh, build, take a one big guy, build around it, and just practice your list, and you can get really good at it. So he made an interesting move here. He, he moved the smuggler in to interact to take that crate. And like I was saying earlier, if he interacts, he gets to move two points. So it's a kind of a good move. I see what, what John has done. He's set himself up for next round in that 
he's going to shoot that smuggler before he picks up that crate because he knows that smuggler is going to be worth four points with the one jet on the left. And mm -hmm. then the jet on the bottom, he's going to wait for that door to open up and end around. And he's dro I'm pretty sure he's dropping a grenade in there. So we'll see if that happens. Uh, now John's back down to his last activation. He's going to decide what to do with the Vader. I mean, the very least, he might as well just force choke uh, the Echo. I don't think he's really committing here. I mean, he gets to move two movement points, so maybe he's thinking he'll just hide behind the jet afterwards. So he's four, he just did the force choke motion there. You see that? That was awesome, John. So force choke motion. Uh, he's giving uh, two damage and a strain to uh, the Echo Base Trooper, it looked like. Um, and it looking like yeah. Ivan is straining a card. Uh, he's taking all three damage. So he's not blowing a card. He's taking all three damage. Um, probably... Uh, it's tough to say. He might know that this guy's dead anyways, but it's hard to know what to do there. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. Those, ra those rangers are going to come out and do some heavy damage. So I would imagine he's going to have to get Vader out of the way soon. If he can. Because that is true. I, I don't know. Can the rangers... It looks like they might be able to do a long distance shot if John hasn't moved. Well, you are right. I think it's going to be a little bit of a, of a show coming up here down the middle. Now, at the same time, it means he's going to commit his focuses to them, to Vader, and it can be frustrating if you're not lucky, uh, if you don't have good card draw. Like, Ivan's gonna, probably going to hope to have tools for the job, which gives you an extra, for two points, gives you an extra uh, die. So you can add any die you want, and you'll add okay. a red. You could do, um, he's got to focus, obviously. He could also do assassinate, which is three damage extra. Um, or heightened reflexes, which takes a die away from Vader. He uh, can also tough luck if Vader tries to reroll. He can remove one of Vader's defense dice. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting setup going on here. Like a little more than po it's actually more than posturing. Usually, I've been finding a lot of IE games with a lot of posturing around one. This, this, these guys are going at it. This is yeah. great. This is actually great. This is the kind of games most of us players want to see. Just get in there, do your thing, and see what happens. So. I think I think objective wise they both look relatively even, um, but it, uh, it's still pretty wide open. I'm just gonna make a quick call for 40 minutes. Everybody. Sure. I was just deliberating over his last activation here. Oh, they're all heading down the hall. Oh, he's bringing them all in. Oh, he's interesting. He's going over to that position there. I think because he figures he's got those jets. This is actually a good move. He's got those jets down the hall. He, uh, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that most, I'm finding a lot of players lately, when they play against Vader, they go, I'm not going to waste anything on Vader. Let him go out, let him go kill a few things. He's, he doesn't waste all my shots. Well, I think Ivan's thinking, these these um, Alliance Rangers are much better off killing everything else. And so if he gets them prepped for next round, they can just peek down that hallway and peg off some jets. And the good thing about what he's doing here is, John's not going to be able to move all three of those jets. In fact, no. three different groups. So definitely one of those jets is, is dead next round, 100%. There's no way he's getting out of this. But the uh, question is, how much do you avoid Vader? This is going to be really interesting because it's that, right now, it's this, like I was saying, it's this big philosophy that it's, you know, don't go at Vader. I can honestly tell you that's the way I do it. I, and I've played Vader, and I, I realize when people avoid me, it, it kind of gets annoying. You get hurt, your feelings get hurt. <laughs> You're like, come on, man, I'm bringing the Dark Lord in here. So it looks like he might be committing this one to shooting Vader, the third uh, third uh, Ranger. He's just getting him ready. And it looks like end of the round, and so they're going to ready their... Okay, so he's going to look at getting his end of round uh, Vader effect. Uh, you're supposed to open the doors first. probably forgot that. I'm not sure if it's consequential at this point anyways, because no. Vader's already got line of sight. Uh, he's going to move his free two movement points, and he's going to force choke somebody. Well, I'm guessing he's trying to debate whether you can force choke the, the smuggler, because that would be two damage and a strain, and that will probably force Ivan to blow uh, a card, because he doesn't want to take the three damage, or else he's, he's going to be dead. There you go. So, 
just realizing they got to do mission effects first. Oh, good, okay, good. So, yeah, this is tricky. Well, I mean, there's no, no brain here, boys. You just open the doors. Their the doors are gone. Because you have to open one each, and the other two are already gone. So, let's flip the doors open. And then I suppose... Doors yeah. open first. Yeah. They're just asking what... They're not entirely sure which one oh, happens we'll first. Vita's just going to go and uh, remind them and how, how everything works. clarify this recently on the forums because it's causing confusion uh, it's not I mean it's sort of it is in the rules but it's in two, it's kind of in two different areas so we had to clarify it's like uh, yeah. your mission effects come first then your specific uh, figure effects so it kind of like I was saying at the beginning of the game it works out to some of these guys favor because the door opens and you don't remember you don't expect it so he's gonna move his banner up to and force to somebody it looks it like, looks he, like, looks like, like the trooper again the, the trooper yeah and I'm not sure what he's yeah, I, I'm not sure. Right. Oh, he just left them there. Okay, just trying to decide at what yeah. spot he can shoot them or hit them at. Okay, so now they're readying their cards. Yeah. Draw command. Do you want to make sure that he's? It looks like he's put a nine on the die instead of a six. Oh yeah. Oh, got it. But personally relatively speaking, straightforward. Personally but speaking, I hate these die, and I hate when people use these die. It's so annoying. No offense, boys. I love both you guys. I know both you guys for a couple yeah. of years now, and. I'm like, ugh. It's like, I like having the damage tokens for the reason of there's no accidental flipping it over or anything like that. Yeah. And sometimes it's hard to know exactly what you just pointed out. Sometimes it's hard to know. You're like, is that a six? Is that a five yeah. even? I don't know. So, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't mind six out of die. Yeah. Six out of die, I find are relatively stable. More solid. Yeah. Um, and that's what John does. John has his little blue die, right? Yeah. Oh, and there it is. Call the Vanguard. So he's gonna make his move in with his jet. And I think, I wonder who he's going to use here. He's got two options. I think he's probably thinking he would maybe go to the top left because he's got to get that elite jet out of that line of sight of those rangers. So I'm going to guess he goes with that guy. I think originally he wanted to go with the guy on the right side of the red jet by the, where the door opened. I think he was originally going to do that. And I, if I had to guess, he probably was going to play a card like Element of Surprise. And then you can maybe take out somebody like a 3PO or... Maybe right. take a, a lot of damage on Ahsoka. So let's see what he decides here. Interesting. Yeah, he's got a couple options here. Like I said, so far I'm really happy with how this game is starting. It's really open. It's cool. And this is where you're going to see a ton of points being scored. These guys are going to be running crates all over the place if they survive. Yeah. <laughs> so looks like he's trying to decide what he wants to do. Which which. So call the Vanguard, in case anyone doesn't know, he gets to move and, sh and attack with one of his troopers. Right. And he's taking the right side, he's sticking to his original plan. He's going to go on after Gideon. He's going after Gideon. Oh, I guess he knows he's such a good support. So here he goes. He gets to add in an extra blue die because he's within two spaces. And because with the jets, if you're within two, you get a blue die. And after your attack, you gain two movement points. So he can still use that. He can move two after this attack. Well, that's a good roll. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, he can surge for two more damage. So right now he's showing two, four, six, seven damage. It's like five total. Nope. So it looks like Gideon's done. Uh, yeah, it's a count squares. So can I do it through? No, it doesn't count. Correct. Yeah. If I'm moving without exactly, like counting how you would normally. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Just had a question about the emperor. Sorry. Ability. Now, well, yeah, they just realized that. He doesn't get to use his special ability because he's an attack instead of. He's. he's oh, you can they, still. They're asking whether he gets to use his ability, whether it's considered an attack for using Call of the Vanguard. Uh, yeah, you still can. Okay. It's still considered an attack. Yeah. Did they clarify? Well, I no, they're, they're good now. Oh, they're good. Yeah. They're just uh, getting some resolution here. Right. Um. So yeah. How many points is Gideon? Uh, Gideon is three points. So I clarified with them that, uh, yeah, he can, with Call the Vanguard, it's perform an attack. So flyby is perform an attack and gain two movement points. It's not an action, so they do gain the two movement points. 
Um, I believe they both call the Vanguard. Because when I went over there to clarify, they were joking around about saying, okay, my turn. So maybe Ivan played it, we just didn't see it on the screen, or or I, maybe I heard wrong. So, yeah. so he did kill Gideon. Uh, looks like, yeah, he must have just got enough to kill him, really. Two, four, six, seven, five. Yeah, he just had enough to kill him because it's five health for Gideon. Here. Yeah, the score dials, it's funny, um, in Sinew, yeah, 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 the score dials are, uh, I don't even use them. I mean, they're kind of cool, they have really cool art on them, but I find they're too slippery. Uh, I wish they were, like, a little little uh, more solid, but surprisingly, a lot of people in our community use them. It's interesting. I like having the uh, score tracker, like um, John has, a, it's just sort of the top of the screen, right yeah. under the number three. Those are great, you can get them for, like, ten bucks, and I find those are great. Uh, but you know, whatever, whatever way you like to keep score, as long as you keep keep the correct score. Are they like ten bucks? Are they that cheap? I, I bought mine for like six, six or seven bucks. All right. Yep. I might uh, pick one of those up. I think they'd be useful for. Um, they're they're good. Uh, Legends of the Five Rings. Yeah. You have your conflicts, and you're always measuring strength. Yeah. It's a great, nice tracker. It's easy to easy to use. Really cheap. So it looks like Ivan here. So I'm thinking this might be his call to Vanguard because I thought I heard him talking about. Yeah, it must be. He wouldn't be doing this. So it looks like he's going to bring in a ranger to take a shot at somebody. Um, it's an interesting call here. If I were him, I would go after the jet, the elite jet that's on the left side of the screen. Um, because he's either going to do, they're going to take out your smuggler, potentially, or he's going to do a lot of damage to your ranger, which you don't yeah. want. So I think he's going to go after the elite jet. And oh, he's going to just pick up the crate and get oh, Okay, out of so I'm wrong. He didn't have call the banger. Okay, he's just going ahead with his first activation, so... He's moving the then he's going to use urgency. Move some extra spaces. Okay. And he's going to cash in the four points. Four. Yeah. So he's going to score that crate. Yep. Okay. Well, that's a good move. I mean, like I said, Smuggler just paid for himself more than one, right. more like twice. Like, I, if I get two points out of that guy, I'm happy. So four points. Brilliant move. Uh, I haven't anticipated the, this meta actually really favors cheap cheap fast figures like smugglers um uh, hired guns greedo like figures like that are they're great for this meta because there's there's at least a scenario in all three maps that you know you can just go grab something and get some points so use the smuggler really well there uh, john looks like he's playing overrun oh he's no. aggravating his blue jets yikes so what happens here is everyone he's he flies over is going to take uh two damage and that's a limit of one time, though. So he's counting. He's, he's pointing to the figures right now that he's running over. So he's going to run over. It looks like, wow. Yikes. This is not good. Um, so he's just showing you right now all the figures he's going to be able to hit. Because they're mobile, they don't count as having two spaces for every figure to go through. Every other figure, if you want to walk through their space, you're going to pay two, po two yeah. points. So it looks like he's going to go, let's see, one, two. He's going to hit uh, five characters. It's looking like he could, because he can move eight spaces. And that's going to be a hard pill to swallow, I think. It's not the end of the world, but it also depends on what else he's got in his hand. If he's got Grenadier or something like that. He, well, how much health do the troopers have? The, the those, Echo Base troopers. Uh, the Echo Base have eight health. So, so that's going to be the end of that trooper? That'll be the death of that trooper. And then the smugglers only got three, so he's got two. Um, it's a great move here. I mean, there's nothing I'm going to do about it. It's, I find I just feel, you feel so helpless when they do it. And it sucks because then you feel like, oh, I'll just go after that jet. You know, he's basically giving me a jet for four points. Uh, but, or not, sorry, these are not the elite, so three, two points. So, but it's definitely going to be a little bit of havoc here. So, it looks like yeah. they've agreed on where you have to end. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can't end your movement in the spot. So, he's basically going to hit four figures, I think. Five, no, five. Five. Yep. You can go through and, all of them. Yep. And then he's going to stop. Uh, he has to stop in, obviously, an empty space. So. Interesting. Um, not sure what he's doing there. Now he's, well, he's gonna. Do, he's actually gonna switch the order. Oh, up. that's right. Because overrun, you can just play at the beginning of your activation. You don't have to decide right now. So he's doing both, as I said. So he's gonna grenadier. Oh boy, this is this is nasty. So he's got grenadier. Watch him hit three. It always hits three. It always hits uh. three. Every time I play against this. So Ivan is notorious for using grenadier, and him and I have a running joke. So he's gonna probably tell me after, you know how it how it came back to, to bite him. So, and then now he's going to, oh, 
Like so that, that's enough to kill 3PO. Yeah. So it doesn't look like he's using... Uh, Oh, no. He, is he using Overrun? Yeah, he is. So he's hitting all those five figures with two damage. It looks like they're trying to figure it out, because he can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he can hit them all. So the, the, yeah, he's dead. Oh, man, this is devastating. This this is the game. This is devastating. So basically what happened is he threw the grenade, everyone takes three damage, and then he does Overrun, and everyone takes two damage right. That's that he runs over. Yeah. So... I was trying to figure out what he had earlier, and he actually had them all. So he had all so, the cards. Uh, how much is the trooper worth? The trooper uh, is worth four points. Uh, and smuggler's worth two points. Uh, and, and chopper's worth three points. Okay, so another... So uh, it's uh, nine? Nine more points. Yeah. Oh, and he also took a C-3PO. So yeah, we already more, we got, through, we got okay. 3PO. Wow, so this is... Oh, you know, at this point, what do you do? Uh... It's 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 done because Vader is full be, health. Uh, he's gonna go in and his turn. He's gonna. I mean, he's too far from the um, the Alliance Rangers right now, but it's not gonna matter. He's gonna eventually get up there and be able to do a lot of damage. So I think at this point, Ivan is going to score the four points. I just at this, I'm not sure. It would yeah, it's tough. I'm not it should sure be it would, sixteen, right? Uh, it should be. Let's see. Four, four, three, three, two. Trooper. Three, two, four. Yep. So like That's right. The, tr the trooper and. Uh, uh, sorry, four, three, two, two. So it should be trooper, chopper, um, smuggler, three PO. So yeah. Three PO What's the smuggler worth? Uh, two, two and three PO are two. Uh, okay, two, so we're good. Smuggler. Fourteen's right. Yeah. Fourteen's right then. And so he's trying to decide here whether he, you know, cashes in that crate, or whether he brings Ahsoka into the fight because she is she's supposed to be one of your heavy hitters so I think we need her support in there I don't think so. oh we got uh, someone in Germany watching awesome thank you for tuning in Marcus uh, glad that you're enjoying the the event from Germany yeah we, we got some great lists today if you haven't read already there's um, four rebel four scum and what I believe is uh, five, did I say five, four, six, does that add up? Yeah, six, six uh, Imperial, I believe that's what it was. So really good, diverse meta. What's really impressive is not everyone has a heavy hitter on every squad, so, so it's kind of cool. Ahsoka's moving and hitting the uh, Jet Trooper there. Interesting. I think he does realize at this point he's got to do something about this, take something out. But he's got a big hole to fill here. So it looks like he's doing, so John has to, let's see, he's got six damage showing, and Ivan looks like he's turning, oh, he's going to put positioning advantage for seven, and then he's going to score a dead jet for four points. So I like it. I like the move, um, because I don't think Ahsoka, to me, is not the type to just, you know, just run the objective. So now he gets the objective rate four points, so he's going to score another four. So that was a great move by Ivan. So he's, that's eight points right there. So he's staying alive with very limited things they have left. But if you look, the major part now is, you look on the left, you see John with all his activations. and Yeah, that activation disadvantage is going to be, be painful. It's going to be huge later, yeah. But that was a good move. That was a good, you know, hey, you got to try and do something here because you never know. You could out-time him. You don't know. Uh, but obviously at this point, he's going to be stuck with uh, limited activations and how he's going to score any objectives. His, his uh, rangers are going to do some damage on somebody. And the good thing he's got going right now is Vader is far. So Vader's not likely going to hurt anybody other than when Force Choke. And right now he's out of uh, line of sight. So Ivan has really placed his figures well to um, well, neutralize Vader. There's still the one remaining uh, Echo Base Trooper on the right behind ah, the jets. You're right, yeah. So he could, and he hasn't gone yet, so he could even grab think he could probably grab that objective and he'd be close he wouldn't make it all the way though so here comes the jet attack shooting the focused ranger and that's a smart move because you might as well try and take him out because that ranger's going to do a lot of damage uh, not a great roll no. for john he's unless he has some decent cards here which he has already spent most of yeah. his cards so he has two left but let's see what he does here he, he had some good card draw like in all fairness to ivan for john to draw 
um, Grenadier, Overrun, but, and um, right. Wow. Uh, on the other hand, even one of those would have been problematic. That's so true. The, the, the leaving the positioning open to to risk one of those effects is something that he probably should have considered. Yeah. Um, I see the question: Does John John doesn't run Zillow? Um, it's not in the screen. He has Zillow, so I'm looking at his list right now, and he's he's got Zillow in the list there. It's probably just hidden. Uh, here goes the second jet. Here. Pretty good roll this time. I mean, he can convert a surge to two damage. Yeah. So it looks like Ivan is. Um, I think maybe he's got really good cards. I, I, your question is why didn't he discard? Yeah, see, I, I think he didn't want to do it because I was going to say that, that he could discard because he only had seven damage, right? But yeah, I knew, I had a feeling. I'm like, you know, he's got, he's got a good card. Probably doesn't want to get rid of it. So now he uses positioning advantage. So that's my answer uh, in Singu. In Sinu? In wow, Sinu. Cool you, got, you got nothing out of uh, those Echo Base Troopers. No, you're right. And that was a lot of points for... They disappoint me. Travis, you're very astute here, man. Because well, but it's just, they, there was a lot of damage. They should... Yeah. It, to lose both of them that way, I yeah. mean... Yeah, and they didn't take a shot. There were a lot of effects. They, I know, that's the they thing. They, they, got, they accomplished nothing. Some of the other yeah. figures at least... You know, had some marginal thing that they did. Ivan and I discussed this recently because when he was on the list, but... he was like, "I said, listen, I brought Echoes to the Michigan Regional in Warren, and I felt like the Echoes were, they don't hold, they don't worth the eight points. They're just not. They never pay off more than maybe four. And he said, "Well, there's nothing good enough in Rebel to take this eight points. I'm not sure I necessarily agree with that, but I know what he's saying. There's nothing obvious that you could just switch in for eight points, but." It's a tough pill to swallow. I find they're they're good, but they're not they're not good enough for you now. And, and you got to remember here, John's only activated twice this round and already devastated Ivan's forces. Yeah. And he's playing this so well, it's crazy. I mean, he's got, like it's a good card draw. Element of surprise uh, so here. He's taking the defense die away from the jet, and let's see if he can do some damage here. He's far enough. Oh no, he's dead. Oh, that's right. They only have three uh, three health points. So Ivan's going to score two points there. Two points, and that, that's one of the uh, jet troopers near that crate. John's just pointing out that Ivan's going to have to come around that obstacle to have line of sight. I guess that looks like a moisture evaporator, maybe. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. It's funny because uh, we were just talking about this in Michigan, how. Sometimes you don't, if you don't really look, you don't notice some of the detail in these maps. Yeah. Like the Java map, uh, we'll see it again later, but you can see uh, like a, it looks like a gold statue of Java in the Java's palace. So it's pretty funny some of the stuff that you see. I mean, I'm not a big fan of having to put the puzzle pieces together in a competitive play, which is, I know a lot of people are annoyed with in competitive play with Imperial Salt having to put them together. So um, luckily I was able to get this map from the States when we were in Michigan. Yeah. So happy to, because uh, it's really hard to get the, the, these custom mats from FFG. It's really hard to get them in Canada. A lot of distributors won't even bother trying. Um, uh, yeah. I know what you're saying about saving the jet. I, I didn't disagree when yeah. saying, does he have a card? But yeah, I guess he's figuring he's up and up. Maybe, I don't know. Good question. I'll have to ask him later. So what's going on here? Uh, this is just a, his attack roll on the other uh, jet trooper back there by the crate on the left. Okay. They're just arguing what the surges are going to be. Okay. <laughs> it's interesting because although the score is 18-14, uh, I think obviously I'm, I'm probably stating the obvious in that he's in... Uh, Ivan's John's just trying to figure out. John uses his low here to try to save. And it looks like dead jet I'm thinking here. I think he decided not to do it early uh, because he knew he was going to lose that jet regardless. Yeah. Uh, so maybe save it for something more useful later in the round. Yeah. That, that makes some sense, too. Uh, but I, like the viewer, I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, why didn't he go there? But I, I guess he's thinking, you know, he'll save it for later. Uh, yeah, but yeah, the maps are 
always hard to get now, it seems. So, okay. so it looks like they're, I don't know if they're having a little discussion with the black guy here. You're just saying the only way that trooper would have lived, uh, that, yeah, that jetpack trooper would have lived if he triple, triple blocked. Yeah. Yeah, which is nice because you can convert one of those blocks into a surge cancel. So we had like two blocks and surge cancel, which would have helped them a lot. So I was going to make some decisions here. So he still has, he's got four damage left on the one echo. He's got, uh, looks like seven left on Ahsoka. No, there, there, there are no echos left. Um, who's that, who's this here then? That, but he oh, just doesn't clear. He just oh, doesn't clear the card. The die. Okay. I thought he was still hidden behind the jet, but you're right. He's gone. So he, he, all his activations are done. Ivan is oh, done boy. for this turn. Man. Oh, right, no, I think he's still got his third ranger to deal with. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's tough. Oh, look, is he gonna go for a long shot on this guy? I mean, that's a smart move because that guy's gonna score four points. Well, no, I don't, I don't think he's taking a shot at that guy. Oh, okay. I'm just thinking. I don't know if he could get line of sight. It'd be really hard. You have to get right to that. Yeah, I don't think he would make line of sight. So he's just going for a long shot on the or a shot on the one jet. He's got focus. It's a good thing is he'll get to re-roll two of the dice if he doesn't like the results. Which I, I hate to say this, but I find the he's gonna re-roll that blue one for sure. Yeah. I find the um oh, it's the not what the rerolls are one. so he pierces one automatically, I don't know if he remembers that. But the Rangers I find are really um, they're my favorite unit right now, maybe in the game. 12 points, but man, they, they're so good. Uh, so it looks like he's. Uh, does he have French? Oh no. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And he gets a built in one. So oh, does he have a built in one? Yeah. Okay. But, okay. So is that that's, that, that's the one extra he needs. Yeah. So it looks like what um, John has decided here is to convert that block into a surge cancel. It just looks like a block there now, and I think he means it's a surge cancel. Yes. And so he's going to—he's showing right now what looks like five damage, I guess. So. And John is going to he survive. He's going to move in and score another four points. Twenty-two fourteen for John. And he's just going to keep moving, doing stuff here. Probably pick up more crates and run. And at this point, as long as he stays hidden, there's really not a lot that Ivan's going to be able to do about it. I mean, I'll give Ivan some credit. He's got, uh, he's using a cool list. I mean, Ahsoka, using Ahsoka is, I still think, very bold, but yeah. that's cool. This is, it's sad for John because there's nothing useful for Vader yeah. to do this turn. Yeah, you're right. But that's exactly. just because he massacred everything else. And he's also intimidating. Like, if you think about it, what Ivan did was he moved everything up far away from Vader, and you do have to do that. But then if the support can do what it did, which it, it did with John, he got all the great cards, if the support can come in and massacre the rest of your squad, then hey. Yeah, you're right about the anything under 10. Not a long shot, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a question about whether Ahsoka synergizes in this list, and that's probably true. Um, and because she's melee, you're really putting, you have to put her out there. You got to run her out there and do some, some good attacks. Whereas, you know, a guy like Vader, yeah, you throw him out there, but he's got two black dice to defense with, defend with. Whereas soka has got a white, and you can't necessarily rely on dodging all the time. It just, just doesn't work that way. Most players will tell you it's nice when you get it, but it's, it hurts more when you don't. So, so he's picking up the crate, scoring the crate. So another four points. Let's get a quick shuffle there. So we're at 26-14 for John. Uh, not a lot of options for Ivan here. Uh, he's too far. Well, I mean, that one smuggler next round could potentially grab that crate and score it, I think. Looks like 2-3 picks it up. Yeah, I think he could actually score that crate next round, which is his only real move with well, that, that smuggler. That, uh, yeah, but that's assuming the crate's still going to be there, right? Which I imagine it's not. It's looking like he's going to try to get someone to get it. Well, no, it looks like he's going to go crazy with oh, Vader. Here comes Vader. Yeah. So we moved him, we just double moved him, and then he's just gonna wait till the end of round, and then around he's just gonna force choke that smuggler. So, inter interesting move, I, probably what I would do at this point. You know Vader's not dying, because those guys aren't gonna do enough damage. And even if you kill Vader, I mean, the, the game's pretty far away, so. Well, how much else does the smuggler have? The smuggler has he's got three total, right. and I think he's still full, so he would take two damage um, from the force choke and a strain, yeah. and depends if Ivan has a card in his hand or not. 
So well, I mean, he, he did not uh, spend the cornucopia of cards that uh, John oh, did. So unreal, man. I'm assuming he's got some cards to he, throw away. He scored the, the amazing move. That those cards were insane. I mean, they're they're kind of those like they're absolutely mandatory for this list, anyways. It's nothing groundbreaking. It's the fact that he actually drew. Well, so amazing. So he's going to actually do an end around attack with Vader. Oh, he dodged it. Oh, man. The smuggler for the MVP here. The other side effect of this, though, uh, Vader is blocking the, the smuggler from making a quick trip to that crate, right? Uh, not really, because he can go diagonally. He can go diagonally yeah. through uh, a corner like that? Okay. Yeah, so he can go one, two, three, pick up the crate, and then he gain two movement right. points. Yeah, I, just was, I, just wasn't, I wasn't sure you could squeeze through a diagonal if you had uh, both of the corners covered. That's a good question. Yeah, that's a good question, but you definitely can. You can sniff through diagonally. Um, I'm not sure what he's trying to do here. Is he actually going to try to... Oh, he gets two movement points. If you attack a uh, smuggler and you don't uh, kill him, he gets he gains two movement points. So he's probably thinking, okay, I'm not 100% sure why he does that, but maybe he wants line of sight for the other guys to start the round with. But at this point, I mean, you're not going to take out Vader with what you've got. I mean, yeah, okay, he's got two focus rangers uh, and a soap guy. That's tough. But John's got initiative. Unless... Uh, I think he can steal it here. It could be an interesting finish. So that was end of round. Given how little Ivan has played, there's a reasonable chance he uh, gets a card for that. Good point. He's, he's, he hasn't played many cards, so he must have something up his sleeve. Well, or he just doesn't have a lot that he can use right yeah. now. Yeah, he's being very patient. I'll tell you that right now. He's being very patient. I, I'm i not sure... I'm not sure it's intentional. I'm not sure it's a ah. deliberate strategy. Yeah. I, it may just be that he stuck the with realities it. of the situation. That he stuck with it, yeah. I mean, at this point, if you think about it too, uh, John has four of his units well out of, like, well away from the play, and those crates are already scored, so they're not doing anything this round. Uh, he's playing Grace for Impact. This is one of his fear cards now. He gets to add a black die into his defense, so he's going to try and keep this ranger alive. Uh, oh, that's not great for Ivan. He'll, the ranger should survive, but man, that's not great. So right now it's showing. Oh no, that's going to. Uh, they're doing Did he already have no he, no, he doesn't. So there's five damage. Okay, so he he had. I guess that was the guy who had the damage earlier. So he's dead. That was the black die. Was on. It was actually on a ranger. It wasn't on an echo. I just didn't see it. Oh yeah. No. Never mind. The ranger's dead. Sorry. Yeah, I, I, that was the black die. Was actually he didn't leave it on there from an echo. It was actually so four points for killing the ranger. So that was that was unfortunate. If Ivan had survived that, it, it could have been a lot. It could have been potentially a game because you, you never know. He might have been able to do a lot of damage on Vader depending on cards he has. Um, I mean, the, the Alliance Rangers. I've seen guys do you know easily six to eight damage, but it's hard to know. It depends on how well Vader rolls. So it looks like there he's readying all his cards here. talking about crates here, but 30 to 14, it's going to be really hard. Even if no. you kill Vader, you're only getting 13 points. It's 27, and Vader hasn't even had any damage on him. So, oh, let me just announce the time. Yeah, so, I mean, it looks like here John could easily kill the smuggler with Vader and then ship those crates away, and uh, that's enough to, to take the round. This is obviously going to be uh, their last round. Oh, he's bringing Ahsoka in for some for a kill. This is a good move. Well, well, he has no choice, right? Yeah, so those start taking stuff out. So well, those two crates, well, those two crates and a dead smuggler is That's the game. match for John. That's game. Yeah. So he needs to get prevent one of those crates from being taken. Yeah, this is a very good move. Keep yourself alive. You never want to. Why has he got a black in his hand there? The black uh, is. Gonna roll black to go. oh, that black is. Black. Okay, I thought he was going to try and roll all those dice. I'm like, no, I think that oh, block. Oh, man! Three blocks. And he can convert one if he wants. Uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, looks like he's going to keep it as three blocks. And. Just discussing the surge here. Right now he's only showing one damage in the surge. Can convert. Oh, he's going to re-roll it. So I'm just trying to figure out if he can. Okay. Wow. 
So he kills the jet, that stays there. So that's four points for Ivan. So you are right, Travis was a good move because you're right, that crate's just gonna sit there now. It's not gonna get scored this round. So that, that creates in no man's land right now. Uh, he can somehow get, and even that other jet, that other jet will not score that crate this round, I don't believe you'll see. Oh yeah, no, no way, it has to even pick it up, so. Let's see what his next move is here. Um, I mean, clearly he's gotta bring Vader in to do some slicing and dicing. But at this point, he doesn't wanna necessarily go too fast. You don't want another round out of this, necessarily, but I mean, Ivan's only got four figures left on the board. And the, the, um, the Rangers, once they're, you're either up close or they don't have focus, it's, it's it, you're in trouble. So here goes, Vader moves up, does an attack. This could potentially even just, oh, he rolls up. That's a good roll. So Vader can re-roll. I'd re-roll a yellow, probably. That's, he threw the five in there. That's Vader's guarantee. He gets an extra damage on an attack, but I think he's going to reroll the yellow, is my guess. Um, yeah, he looks like he wants to reroll the yellow, so there he goes. And then, oh boy, that's nasty. Oh. So he gets two extra surges out of it. So he's going to add two damage, and he's going to pierce three. So that black die is nothing. I think he might, he might have actually killed this guy. He just one shot at a ranger. Wow, four All points, right. four points for John, and, and, right. and that's a concede, it. I think. Okay, wow, that's a big win.